Hey, how's it going? I want to address a couple things. If you enter into the tribulation, there was a problem between you and your Savior. You must settle that. Nowhere in Scripture has it ever said that Jesus Christ is wanting the people to go into the tribulation. I've seen comments that are just, that they're mind-boggling. Listen, in these last days, we must be wise. Jesus Christ himself says, Pray that you are counted worthy to escape all these things that will happen upon the earth and sand before the Son of Man. The tribulation saints are those who went to the tribulation because of lack of faith or disobedience or rebellion. That's who the tribulation saints are. While in the tribulation, they either realize they blew it or they finally gave their life to Jesus Christ. And then, because they now figured out what the mark actually was, they chose not to take the mark and they were executed. They were the unwise virgins. The wise virgins entered into the marriage feast. They were taken in the rapture. Listen. If you're making a conscious choice to enter into the tribulation, that is a bad choice to make. A cataclysm can come at the rapture. And matter of fact, that's the way everything is pointing, that cataclysms will come literally at the same time the rapture is taking place. The Lord showed me this. If you die in a cataclysm and you do not enter into the rapture, you are not right with the Lord. When you're not right with the Lord... What happens when you are living in rebellion against the Lord? People, please hear this message. You can escape all these things. Fully surrender to Jesus Christ. Show me within Scripture where it says Jesus wants people to go into the tribulation. Show me. Please show me. That is a doctrine of a demon. I know many churches are preaching that they're going to go into the tribulation. Well, many will because of rebellion and disobedience. Scripture tells us that the only ones who are going to be protected is the woman fleeing into the wilderness, the, the citizens of Israel. The only one that Jesus Christ is going to, the only people that he's going to fully protect are the ones he gives a special mark during the tribulation, which are the 144,000. So unless you live in Israel and are a young male below the age of accountability, I'm suspecting, who is a virgin, that is the 144,000, 12,000 for each one of the tribes. Young males that are virgin, more than likely below the age of accountability, whatever that is, nine, 10 years old, who knows? So unless you're hearing this and you are in that category and the Lord physically told you that you're going to be one of the 144,000, which it never indicates he's going to give any indication who that is ahead of time anyway. I strongly encourage you to rethink your theology. And if you feel that, you got to remember something, the uh, Satan will, can masquerade himself as an angel of light. Let's look at what Scripture says. Scripture never says that Jesus Christ wants people to go into the tribulation. Many will, though. Many will out of disobedience, out of rebellion. And many will be killed at the rapture in cataclysms. If you die in a cataclysm and you were not taken in the rapture, Scripture tells us there's only, there's only one other alternative where you go when you die. You must give your life. Or if you die from a cataclysm after you realize you blew it and going into the tribulation, or after you realize that Jesus Christ is the Savior and fully commit to him, and you die in a cataclysm, of course, you will be rescued. If he died in the execution after meeting that criteria, of course. We must understand that we are living in the final moments and deception is all around. The great apostasy, the great falling away is taking place. And deception is running rampant. Please, today, hear this message. I send this message in love that we will not be deceived or fooled in these final hours. 
Please hear this message. Want the rapture. Pursue the rapture. Call out to Jesus Christ and pray that you are counted worthy to escape all these things that will happen upon the earth and stand before him, before your Savior, before your Lord. He's waiting to rescue you. He wants to rescue you. But if you do not want the rescue, you won't be. You're, 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 you're in the sea drowning and he has his hand out to you, but you don't take his hand. Jesus Christ is reaching his hand out right now. Please take his hand. Please take his hand. We are at the doorstep of eternity. Don't blow this. Don't blow this. Study scripture. Have a blessed day, guys. It's in Jesus' name I send this message and pray. Bye-bye.